In this video, I will share three easiest ways to propagate snake plants to get more plants from a single mother plant. If any of your snake plants get elongated like this plant and have a stemmy appearance, you can take a stem cutting out of them. As you can see here, this plant got elongated and here it got some root-like appearances. So there is a possibility to develop roots once planted in the soil. Now here I have taken a clear sanitized pruner and making a clear cut below these root-like appearances. And it has been separated. Now rest of this portion will push baby plants from this cut area or from the base like this baby plant. So this is the cutting and from the base now you can clearly see these root like impressions. However, after taking a stem cutting, leave it in a cool place for about 3 to 4 hours in order to dry out and callus over the cut area. As growing media, I have taken the cactus mix. Now I am going to plant this stem cutting. Make sure a good portion of the plant base is inserted into the growing media. So it's done. And I will water it after 2 days which will reduce the chances of rotting. Now here are some limitations. You hardly will find an elongated stem on a snake plant like mine. Most of the time mature plants develop long stems. However, sometimes if you take a look in the middle portion of a snake plant, you may find some roots are popping out from the node areas as you can see here. And if you cut right here below these roots, you will also get a stem cutting to propagate. Now this type of long stem often you will find in the dwarf snake plant variety. Overall this method will not apply to all varieties of snake plants. However, you can try the next propagation method which is propagating through leaf cuttings. Take some mature leaves from a snake plant. Mature means the bottom leaves which are green and firm like this leaf. Now try to cut out the leaf from the base like this. I found this bottom white portion is more active to develop roots. So encouraging you to cut the leaves from the base. Now you can take the whole leaf as cutting or you can cut it half like this and can propagate. But at this point you have to remember which side is up. So here I have taken a few leaf cuttings. After taking cuttings as before, leave this for about 3 to 4 hours to dry out and callus over the cut areas. Snake plants are susceptible to bacterial and fungal infestations, so they will rot if not being callous properly. Now, you can propagate these leaf cuttings both in soil and water. For the soil propagation, as growing media have taken cactus mix, and my cuttings are ready to plant. Insert around 1 inch into the growing media as I am doing. Now you do not need to use rooting hormones, it will root spontaneously. So all the cuttings are inserted into the soil and I will water this after 2 days. For preventing rotting, water only when approximately 80% of the media has been dried out. So about a few weeks back, I planted some leaf cuttings from my Dracaena trifociata and they have been rooted in. And it will take next few weeks to pop baby plants. In the water propagation method, take a clean jar or glass. Fill around one fifth with clean water. And simply put the calloused cuttings. Avoid submerging them. Just keep the water level at the bottom layer. Then place the glass in a cool shaded area. And don't forget to change the water once every two days. Now here is a limitation. Through this method, most of the cuttings will root. But if you try to propagate the cultivated versions of this plant, it will lose its variegation and color and will reverse into a green common snake plant variety. But if you try to propagate the common green snake plant variety, then this method is a viable way to propagate. The next method is division, which is more effective than the other two methods. Snake plants form underground rhizomes and develop offsets from here. And dividing these, you will get individual plants. And through this, the plant will not lose its variegation or color. 
Here my plant got lots of offsets. So I pull out the whole clamp from the growing media. Now gently breaking and separating the offsets. You can see they are attached to the underground rhizome. So I have separated them and washed the roots. And now you can clearly see how their roots look like. Here also leave them for about 4 to 5 hours in order to heal the cut areas. And after that plant them in the growing media. And water after 2 days from planting. Now snake plants grow very slowly. Even their cuttings take too long to develop roots and grow plants. So you have to be patient. So that's all. Leave your comments and suggestions below. And support this channel by subscribing and liking this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.